under capital market uh, which is related to uh, primary and uh, secondary market you going to study in this uh, chapter what and all you can uh, familiar here introduction meaning role uh, importance uh, the different types of non banking financial corporation now here the paper is set for 100 marks uh, which is divided into two category one is internal and external internal uh, 40 marks uh, and external 60 marks Hello everyone, a warm welcome to the introductory section. Myself, Natesh, lecturer in commerce, Vidyashram First Grade College, Mysore, the temple of excellence. We are in the uh, introduction section for the BCom fifth semester. Uh, the subject name is the financial institution and market. So this subject is very important for uh, if you take an example for developing country or any developed country, the finance is uh, playing a very important role. So you must uh, understand how the financial product, uh, uh, if you take uh, especially for the Indian, okay, Indian uh, financial system, how it is working, okay. This uh, BCom uh, degree syllabus uh, as per the Mysore University implemented from the academic year 2023-24. So here the major subject we call it as a discipline specific course uh, DSC financial institute and market. So under this subject uh, uh, fifth semester you are going to study for the five unit the unit one the financial system in India we are just focusing for India okay and the second unit capital market and uh, money market okay and third unit primary market and secondary market which is related. Okay, now fourth unit of banking and development financial institution and last unit non-banking financial company. Okay, so and forex market moving forward one by one under unit one what and all the topic uh, information. Okay, so here the, uh, the first unit model number one uh, financial system in India. Okay, because any country if it is developing is uh, finance is a very important uh, in factors under the financial system in India. The first uh, introduction you will get more clarity when I am doing a chapters like unit one. So here the major introduction meaning of financial uh, instrument system and the financial concept what and all uh, if you call it as a finance what concept you must be very familiar and the uh, constitutions and the financial system and the structure of financial system and the role of financial system how uh, each and every country the financial system how it is working. So for the progress of a nation, uh, the functions of financial system, there are different types of functions will be going in the, uh, we can identify in the financial system and the development of financial system in India because uh, we uh, as a government, central government or state government, they want to identify which is the neglected section based on the neglected section, how they want to develop. If the number of industry are increasing, obviously the financial assistant and support is very important. And the financial sector reform, so there are few reforms which is related to financial and the financial system and economic development uh, because uh, uh, the complete uh, economic development, Indian economic because of uh, financial product or uh, the financial system, how it is, which is favored to the development economic, okay. And what are the weakness of our Indian financial system, what exactly weakness we are finding, okay. Uh, moving forward for the uh, next second unit. Under second unit, the chapter name is uh, capital market and money market. Now capital market, no doubt the under capital market, uh, which is related to uh, primary and and the secondary market you going to study here the meaning and the structure how it is designed okay best example stock exchange here and the important you will get more clarity about the uh, capital market and money market okay so and functions and players in the capital market who and all you can find out uh, who is the players here and the instrument of capital market what and all the instrument which is nothing but the product the financial product so here the major product like a share uh, a security or uh, shares uh, stock exchange okay and the component of capital uh, component of capital market what components we are finding okay and the next one last one the recent trend in capital market we are trying to compare with the global market market so there are too many products are introducing okay and about your money market money market which is coming under short period and capital market which is going for the long period so you will get uh, more clarity about the money market and how it is what is the structure okay and the functions and important functions instrument of a money market what and all the instrument
point we are finding for example commercial bank uh, commercial paper treasury bill certificate uh, de deposit certificate okay so this is a recent trend in the uh, money market so there are too many uh, recent trend we are identified there are too many uh, product which is related to money pro market or money instruments okay uh, moving forward for the third unit it is too lengthy okay so here the unit 3 uh, capital primary market and secondary market which is coming under which is directly related to the capital market so again primary market and secondary market the primary market means the transaction the first time uh, initial investment so which is a primary option okay and next uh, you will get to meaning and features and the players of a primary market who and all can play for the primary market what exactly the instrument in the primary market uh, uh, if you take example a share a preference share equity share so so which is coming at the first time when their company are issuing okay and the merits and demerits of primary uh, markets obviously we can find out a few merits and demerits and the method of uh, plotting a new issue because uh, any company want to raise fund uh, of course uh, either it is a private company or government uh, public limited company so with the help of shares only uh, they are issuing which, which is the first time issuing with no doubt which is coming under the primary market and public issue uh, because we are offering to the public right so that's what offer for sales and right issue and the private uh, placement uh, problems which is related to Indian primary market uh, we are stock exchange related a uh, few problems okay and coming to the secondary market no doubt already uh, the, which is completely depending on the primary market once uh, we, we, once the shares are issued uh, now if you are any investor they have a complete freedom to buy and sell uh, okay so you will get uh, more clarity when i'm doing the chapters uh, unit 3 uh, and uh, capitals uh, even the uh, secondary market structure and the functions player in the uh, stock market and the merits and demerits of stock market what exactly the merits and demerits are and the method of stock market well, there are too many method different types of methods when you when you are trying to do for calculating the stock market and the recognition of stock exchange in india we can majorly we can recognize the bombay stock exchange national stock exchange the functions of stock exchange bombay stock exchange national stock exchange over the counter of India exchange, uh, listed uh, security because uh, listed and non-listed, which is uh, uh, which companies are listed under the SEBI, so which is coming under the listed. Uh, trading and uh, settlement of procedure in the stock market, how the settlement is going after investing the money, the payments, uh, okay, how they are getting, okay. And the problem which is related to Indian stock market. So here also in the primary market also we can find out the there is a problem related question. And here also a uh, problem for Indian market, uh, the SEBI Security Exchange Board of India and you, you will get uh, what uh, objective and responsibility is holding for the SEBI. And uh, there is a different functions and the role and reform of secondary market. So these are the topic uh, which is covered in the uh, third unit. Uh, fourth unit, module number uh, four, banking and development financial institution. Banking uh, which is related, uh, commercial bank, uh, okay, uh, development uh, which is related. So the completely uh, accepting deposit lending which is related and the development which, uh, which sections, uh, which sectors if you want, government want to develop, uh, so which is coming under the development sector. Okay, and here under this uh, banking introduction, meaning and role uh, and functions, there are different types of bank uh, and the development of uh, financial institutions, uh, history you will get uh, the management uh, role and functions of the Exim Bank, Export and Import Bank and the NABAD, National Agriculture, National Agriculture, National Bank of Agriculture, Rural and Development, uh, CIDB, Small Scale Industry Development Bank of India, Mudra, okay, and National Housing Bank, uh, LIC, Life Insurance Corporation and uh, General Insurance Corporation, United Trust India, okay, uh, State Finance Corporation, the, these are the topic which is covered in the fourth unit. Uh, now moving to the fifth unit, uh, the chapter name is uh, Non-Banking Financial Company, okay, NBFC, NBFC and Forex uh, market which is nothing but a foreign exchange market. Uh, now in this uh, chapter, what and all you can uh, familiar, uh, your introduction meaning role, uh, importance uh, are the different types of non-banking financial corporation, Okay, insurance company which is covered and the loan company, investment company, leasing and higher purchase which is 
and housing finance, chit fund, mutual fund, venture capital, factor and forfeit, credit rating, deposit rate and custodial service, forex under forex market, the concept you will get more clear and the meaning and importance merits of forex market and the fluctuation of uh, foreign exchange rate and causes and effect. Th these are the topic which is covered in the uh, fifth unit. Moving forward, so now there is a stock, financial institution and market uh, which is related a few skill development uh, uh, topic. Uh, list out any five recent financial sector uh, reform and analyze them. So uh, now after studying the subject five unit, you will get more clarity. So with the help of uh, five units, you are trying to go for uh, doing the uh, uh, practical oriented uh, skill development activity and uh, uh, collect share application form of any five different company who have offered uh, initial public offer in the last and present financial year this is also one kind of topic uh, which is related to skill development and the third topic which is related to collect data on the last financial year pricing rigging and uh, insider trading uh, cases reported as per the SEBI and the fourth concept visit website of development financial institute development financial institute and prepare the report on the history or milestone of and functions of the uh, development financial institute fifth topic which is identify the different types of venture capital firm operating in karnataka and their investment uh, last topic, any other activity which are relevant to the course. There are five chapters uh, with the help of five chapters, any skill development activity which is uh, related to your topic, okay, subject. Moving forward, so obviously at the uh, now here the paper is set for 100 marks uh, which is divided into two category, one is internal and external, internal uh, 40 marks uh, and external 60 marks. If you add together your the total paper set, set is for 100 marks. So here uh, under internal, uh, we call it as a continuous internal, internal evaluation CIE. Okay, so there is 40 marks how you are uh, uh, dividing again the 40 marks can be divided into 20 marks for uh, continuous comprehensive evaluation and remaining 20 marks is the internal assessment test so which is already you are familiar because in the last semester also you written okay uh, 30 marks uh, two internals so 30 each internals will be scaled down to 10 marks each okay so now 10 plus 10 or 20 because we are conducting uh, institute 30 marks per internal assessment test if you add together 40 you are getting in from the internals and at the end of the semester you are writing a semester end examination the paper is set for 60 okay so now all together if you add 100 marks is the total paper so moving for the internal marks weightage okay internal mark weightage here um, internal assessment uh, the paper is set for 30 marks uh, the internal assessment test will be carry a maximum 20 percent weightage so that means actually 20 marks we need to get okay each uh, of the uh, marks of the course under this component two tests will be have to be conducted in the semester for 30 marks now 30 is scaled down to 10 uh, 10 plus 10 20 so each the same is to be scaled down to 10 marks so i have clearly specified here and uh, of course uh, there is a pattern for internal assessment test here so internal test uh, question paper pattern uh, part a part b part c part b part a the, there is actually there are two question you need to attend any one question each que question is carry for five marks so from the part a you are getting five marks Okay, and part B, there are two questions. You need to attend any one question. Each question is carry for one marks. Okay, uh, so 10 marks, obviously, uh, 10 you are getting from the part B. And part C, there is two questions. You need to attend any one. So each question is carry for 15 marks. So only one you have to attend. Now 15 plus 10 plus 5, 30 marks, which is scaled down to 10. Moving to the semester end examination question paper pattern. So here also part A, part B, part C. Part A, uh, there is a seven question. You need to attend for any five question. Each question you will carry for two marks. Okay, and the part B, there are four questions. So each question will carry for uh, 10 marks. You need to attend any two questions. And part C, there are four questions. So each question is carry for 15 marks. You need to attend any two questions. Okay, so now all together, if you add uh, 20 plus 30, 60. Moving for 
the pass percentage from the semester end examination 35 percent okay so the minimum marks uh, for the pass candidates who have to obtain a minimum 35 percent uh, marks in this end semester end examination that is actually if you try to calculate 60 into 35 percent so you are getting 21 marks from the out of 60 okay the theory examination and 40 percent which is an aggregated for the continuous internal evaluation 40 marks you are getting so the total paper is set by 100 okay the end examination and continuous internal evaluation there are two components under coming under the continuous and continuous evaluation test now which are the test book you can refer the test book uh, one is a living stone or milestone the financial intermediate blackwell and sudindra but uh, financial institute and market excel books uh, and niti bashin and banking and financial market in the india 1947 to 2007 new century kanyam and why indian indian financial institute tata megra hill uh, new delhi and uh, uh, e. Gordon K. Nadrajan, 2010 editions, uh, Financial Market and Service, Himalaya Publication House, uh, New Delhi. And uh, Sashi K. Gupta, uh, Nisha Agarwal and Niti Gupta, 2008 uh, editions, uh, Financial Market, Kalyani Publications, uh, New Delhi. Uh, last one, Vasant Desai, 2009. Uh, uh, financial market and service Himalaya publication house. Keep on watch for next section. Thank you.